channel then I welcome you thank you for everything thank you for your support throughout this year may the good Lord bless you all so I know you might have selected what you want to make for this Christmas but I want to add something special to it okay you know on Christmas is about a rice rice mostly rice okay rice recipes yeah. everywhere okay but i'm going to add something a little something that will bring a change to your table okay uh, if you are from uh, enugu state and you eat abacha that thing is mainly for abacha i said in one of my videos that i'm going to be making it it's a local melon delicacy for my town okay we prepare it once in a year during christmas okay mostly during christmas and traditional wedding is a melon cake what i call melon cake it is delicious it is a native dish it's mainly used to eat abacha from where i come from we don't just snack on it we use it to eat abacha during this christmas every household we have it. They cannot present abacha to you. We are known for making abacha. Abacha is our signature dish. So during this Christmas, nobody presents abacha to you without people. Okay. So we have to eat to eat abacha. And then during traditional marriage, when they prepare abacha, use it and. Um, Garnish the whole dish. Okay, it's a special dish. Don't 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 mommy don't use it to garnish it, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then they use it to garnish it. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. Okay, and then it is prepared by elderly old women. And I know how to do it, and I learned. Oui. And today, oui. I'm going to oui. teach you this oui. special melon delicacy called Echo. Let's get cooking. Hello, what are you saying? Hello. Hello. So these are the ingredients we need to make our Echo. So, this is the melon I am talking about. It's ground melon. Okay, look at it. So, it's ground. Okay. They've grinded this one. That is our main dish today. Melon seed dish. And this is the melon seed. Look at the seed. Wait, I'll give you. Look at the seed before they grinded it okay this is what we are making today we are going to make a cake with it a local nigerian Igbo cake with melon okay it's called the uh, iho okay we need the little ingredient for it i have one of the major ingredients here most people they call it a uh, scent leaf in charm 
okay chow chow is an igbo language they call it saintly in english this is the major herbs we are going to use in chow this is a frozen one if you have the fresh one you don't need to cut it because it's like you are going to use it to wrap the molded um, melon you see this is the this is the only herb you use for echo okay i have dry one here and it's crushed but i'm gonna be using it because of the scent it doesn't have to be crushed like this because it's dry so it's crushed so i have this little one that is frozen and fresh okay so i'm going to use both of them okay so i have a chili here the roasted chili if you know me if you watch my video i use roasted chili for most of my recipes okay local recipes i use a roasted chili like abacha so in this recipe too i'm going to be using it you can use fresh pepper if you want you can use the pepper flakes not roasted but don't roast this in your house so so that somebody will not choke okay i have salt no bouillon no curry powder then we have our water you have to add water to it to be able to mold it so for wrapping back home what they use is dried um preserve the cocoa yam leaf okay they dry it and they preserve it they keep it for something like this so they use dried cocoa yam leaf but that means i don't have that uh, cocoa yam, dried cocoa yam leaf i am going to be using a foil yes i'm going to use foil and you can use this this bag as well to wrap it up so this is for wrapping but the main thing they use is dry cocoa yam leaf if you don't have dry cocoa yam leaf you can use oma leaf oma. you can use oma leaf or plantain leaf to wrap it if you know how to wrap it okay so it doesn't uh, water doesn't no, enter wait, inside wait. it so these are the ingredients for our dish today so i'm going to take you step by step on how to make a hole i want to know have you seen this kind of video on youtube before comment so i will know okay the first thing you do is to make sure that you don't have lumps okay mm -hmm. make sure that you don't have lumps and crush all of them make sure you don't have lumps before adding water so what i'm going to do right now is to add the ingredients when you're making iho iho is always uh, spicy yes if you don't like a uh, hot stuff then you can put it mild so i'm going to add the chili yeah. okay then i'm adding the salt you add your salt you add the salt and you taste, okay? You don't over salt it. So that is the two ingredients Mommy. you need. Mommy. What is it? You made a mess? Okay, I will clean it. So now, now I'm adding water. Don't add too much water. We want it like a ball, okay? Don't add too much water. You mix it and then you add. Okay. It's like when you're mixing your dough. When cooking people takes a lot of time to cook. They cook it overnight with firewood. 
by night that firewood they start in the evening time to prepare it before they go to bed they put it on fire firewood so it takes hours to cook then after it's properly cooked then they will put it uh, over the charcoal so that the excess water will drip okay will drip, drip out uh, the excess uh, water and become so firm okay so they were going to achieve that by putting it in the oven the right uh, consistency okay we have the right consistency this so now I'm going to test it yes you can taste it you can taste it and spit it out I need some salt I added some salt and I'm going to add the remaining uh, pepper this is not hot. Then I'll add a little water. A little water. Yep. Then I'll mix again. So this is what they do. This is the cocoa yam leaf. I don't have cocoa yam leaf. Dried cocoa yam leaf for unwrap, for wrapping. So they place the scent leaf enough scent leaf if you have enough place it because we need to um, taste the scent leaf they place it like this and they use spoon or ladle to scoop some like this this quantity is enough then they wrap it they put they put more scent leaf on top of it like this i don't have too much so i'm managing the little one i have they put it like this spread it all over and then they wrap it and tie it up so i'm going to wrap it like this to make sure that water doesn't enter okay so we wrap it like this Okay. okay. Like this. This is what I did. Okay. So it will be in the shape of a echo. Okay. They wrap it. I'm gonna do another one. So put some. So good. That's good. Put a little. Mm, I'm going out of it. Then we wrap it. And even put uh, those dried ones. Look at it. Yes. So you can have enough. You don't want it to enter inside, okay? Wrap it. I'm sure water will not be able to enter inside this. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right to come out. Okay, put some on top of it like this. We have to one better. Don't let it break. Okay. You don't want water to enter inside. Okay. 
okay so this is how you do you tie this so this is how you wrap the echo we are ready to start cooking the echo see how i wrapped it i'm sure it's probably sealed because we don't want water to penetrate as i said before it takes time to cook but we are going to cook our own they cook it overnight with firewood by the time it's done it will turn to a little brown but we are going to cook our own for three hours then we will get it out and we will put it in the oven to dry a little not too much a little okay. adding it to let it cook for three hours So I'm checking on this our echo. Today we made echo, and I know that it is done because I have cooked it as I said for three hours. Okay, so right now I'm going to get it out and then I will put it in the oven for 10 minutes for it to dry a little. So that it can be firm enough okay so i'm getting it out so as you can see i changed the pot because i noticed that the water is changing color like a white color so i suspected uh, that somehow water has started uh, entering so i have to protect the food so i have to put it in a bag okay so that it will not spoil all my efforts so you have to do that to avoid water getting in inside it so look at what we have here our delicacy melon cake is ready the melon cake is ready i'm going to put it in a pan baking pan then put it in the oven I'm going to remove these bags, okay? Don't put bags in the oven. I'm going to remove the bags. Put it in the oven and allow it for 10 minutes so that it can be firm enough. Then I will unwrap it. I will open it and cut it so you can see, okay? I will put it in the oven. It's 10 minutes and it's already out. Let's open one and see what we did today. This is hot. Smells so good. So this is our melon cake. Okay. This is our melon cake. Okay, we made it today. This is the leaf, the scent leaf, as you can see, is properly cooked for three hours. Okay, I told you they cook it overnight, so that I cooked it uh, continually for three hours. Okay, because it's gas. Okay, so I'm cutting it. Yeah, yeah. So this is Iho, this is melon cake, okay, that I made today, okay. It's properly cooked, okay, look at it, look at how firm it is, this is melon cake, okay, we've come to the end of this video. Okay, comment, like it, make it popular. Okay, this is a rare video, a 
rare native dish okay i'll be seeing you in my next video may god bless and keep you all have a blessed christmas it is a time for giving and love share with the people around you and may god bless you bye